Michael. Hey, Arthur. How are you? Good. You? I'm all right. Um, I want to start out here. Do you feel like, I guess, the, uh, the last two weeks you've gone a little bit more play action, so, certainly last week or uh, yesterday, a little bit more play action. Is, is that, how much of that is just play design versus you trying to maybe get Matt a little bit more time, try to protect him a little bit based off of how the offensive line's been playing? Well, I think you, what you're saying, Michael, when you don't become one dimensional and uh, you can keep them off balance, you know, it opens up a lot of different things that you could do. Uh, certainly when you're playing a really good front four, which San Fran, uh, which they are, you know, they've, they've got a lot of good players up there and you're trying to mitigate your risk, not just sitting in the same spot in the pocket. And that, that's most weeks, but certainly when you're, when you're playing some of the pass rushers uh, like they have. So it all goes into it. And it also depends on the coverage you're seeing behind it and the way you're trying to manip manipulate the underneath. Uh, we had our chances. They made more plays than we did up front. And that really was the difference in the game. When it came to Marla Davidson, what went to the decision to make him in? Yeah, that was a COVID, non-COVID illness. He tried to go, and that's what it was. Okay, thanks. And it happened Saturday night, so that's why. I, so delighted if you're on here. It wasn't an injury report thing. Uh, so I won't get into much of his personal deal, but that's what it was. Jeff? Arthur, I know you just went up against a really good defensive line, but I'm just wondering your offensive line, how far is it from where it needs to be in terms of both cohesion and physicality in your mind? Yeah, Jeff, it's a good, good question. Um, and certainly we had felt the last couple of weeks we had been playing better. I'd argue Carolina's got a pretty physical defense and I think they were second league at the time we played them. I thought we went up there and, and played pretty well, especially up front. It was kind of the, the polar opposite this week. You look at going up to Carolina, I thought we played really well on both sides of the line scrimmage. We go out to uh, San Francisco or Santa Clara, and they got it. They got after us on both sides of the line scrimmage. And so, so we made progress. Uh, certainly, yesterday wasn't uh, what we wanted, and we'll, we'll continue to, to work at it. We'll continue to look at every option on the table, Jeff. I mean, like everything we're, we're trying to do, we're trying to improve this football team. But they certainly won the game up front. In in situations like that, obviously, you can see what's going on in the game. How much is that impacting play calling? Um, yeah, it's a big it, it impacts it. Um, <clears throat> certainly impacts, uh, you know, on the, the right there when you're, if you're going to take a fourth and four down there instead of taking the, the field goal. I mean, you did, you know, where, where, where you're going to go and trying to play the long game there. And uh, we certainly had enough, enough possessions left. Like I said, credit to San Francisco. I, I didn't think, thought they played better in the lines of scrimmage. We still had our shots. But when you come away with only 10 points in the red zone, on, you know, one and five, then that's a difference. And it wasn't like we were in all these third and longs down there. We uh, we got to do a better job. Uh, certainly it's it's gotten us in, you know, New England. It happened. We came back and played better the next week. I certainly anticipate playing better this week in those situations. Thanks. Charles? I, uh, I saw a stat for uh, that uh, said Corderell uh, Patterson was hit behind the line on seven of his 11 carries. And this gets back to, I guess, what you were just referring to about the uh, about the line play. But and and, and in the play calling, um, is that part of what went into the, the plan for Corderell instead of trying to create space to make him a receiver more often that you had confidence going into the game that your line could could create that space for him? Well, certainly, Charles. I mean, we we use CP all over the place. Um, when he's back there at running back, at, you know, whether you had it, Eric Dickerson or Walter Payton back there, you're getting hit in the backfield. Maybe Barry Sanders can make three guys miss back there, but that's just stating the obvious there. So uh, we use him all over the place. Um, he does a good job for us as the game built. You know, it's it's one thing after another. I mean, that's where the game came down to inside on the line of scrimmage. And credit to them, they had a say, and you know we've been we felt we've been playing better. Uh, you know that's the consistency you got to bring in the NFL. That's why you see all these crazy scores week in and week out. It's the hardest thing to do to sustain that level of play. I, but I have all the confidence in our guys that we'll bounce back this week. But they, they did it. They did a nice job up front. San Fran did on both sides. And uh, looking ahead to this week, you know, as you as you're trying to uh, to build this team, and 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 uh, just can you just talk about the. Uh, the need to get a win at home and and to and to start that that path. Sure, uh, you know, um, 
for multiple reasons. I always say each game is its own entity. There are certain things you've tried to build off week to week, but certain things come up situationally, matchups change week to week. And, you know, these are the easy narratives. And the reality is we're 0-5 we're this season at home, Charles, and, and a couple games that, you know, you know, we we had we had a chance and we did we didn't close it out. The other ones, you know, we didn't do a well good enough job. So um yeah, I mean, like I said, you those things can snowball on you and, and, and we gotta do something to, to change that narrative, certainly. But we we the most important thing, whether we were playing in Atlanta, Detroit, Barcelona, Cabo, uh, we gotta get ready to play a, a good team and, and and go out there and execute and play better up up front. Mark. You muted, Mark. Mark. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Michael, any follow-ups? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, I mean, uh, where was I? Sorry. Uh, the basically when. Wow. I just blanked out for a second. Skip me and yeah, come back. Yeah. Michael. All right. <laughs> Jeff, anything? All right. Unless Charles, unless you have anything, we're back to you, Michael. Anything else on the uh, injury? I'll fill in for d -Lid. Anything else on the injury front from yesterday? We're still waiting on some MRIs, uh, Charles. So with, his, with Sharp, um, you know, I know he didn't finish the game and that was announced. And so we're just waiting. I, I, uh, contrary to popular belief, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be evasive. I don't, I don't jump to conclusions medically, uh, no matter how many you know, medical advice I've read online on social media. I don't think I'm a doctor, so I usually wait until we get them in the MRI machines. All right, I'm I'm better now. You're better. All right. Yeah, I don't really know what happened there. That was that's kind yeah, of embarrassing. You just take a time out and regroup. And let's go. I, I know. Uh, when you this is more looking toward this week. Obviously, you weren't here in the past, but when uh, two teams play and they have kind of last second endings over and over again, I don't know if you've been in a situation where you've experienced that before. Can that manifest itself where things in the past can kind of come to the present in that sort of situation? Because the last three Falcons-Lions games have all literally ended on the last play with fairly odd situations. Uh, you know, um, I was, it's funny because it really shouldn't matter. But sometimes uh, I just go back to like 2010 a year. I worked at Ole Miss. And for a long time, it was Ole Miss-LSU games. And regardless of the record, we always came down to something crazy. And, and, you know, and certainly we weren't very good that year. We go down there and uh, – Sure as hell, it came down to, to the end. Uh, you'd like to think it doesn't, Michael, but sometimes uh, fate has a, a strange way. Uh, and we've certainly been in a, in a lot of one-possession games. We've done a better job in those. Uh, you know, we obviously need to, to get the lead and, and play better. Uh, that's also what was frustrating yesterday, too, you know, not taking advantage of a, of a way to steal a possession and start the game. And um, so certainly, Michael, we, you know, we, any way we can win the game, that's fine. We try to make it easier. You love to win and not cause the uh, stress and anxiety, everybody. But I guess that's reality here in the NFL. So, like you said, it shouldn't necessarily matter, but sure. when it, but when two teams have it happen over and over, is there does that sometimes creep in your head? I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't have a great answer for you there. It really shouldn't matter if you're looking at like practically, yeah. uh, but strange things happen. I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks. All right. If can, it, Charles? It, yeah, if I can just throw in one more. Uh, you obviously, you, speaking of stress and anxiety, you saw the late week uh, schedule uh, changes that the NFL has had to make, and we've seen this in NBA and other sports. And, and maybe, um, obviously, the NFL in general and the, and the Falcons, you may feel like you're doing everything you can already, uh, COVID-wise, to take precautions. But have you guys uh, felt the need, based on the recent news, to up and up and notch. Any, any other changes uh, uh, this week? Uh, we'll just go by what the, what the league feels is best, Charles. Um, Try all year to mitigate our risk as best as you can. I think you're, um, you know, we're whatever part of the pandemic we're in, um, you know, who, who knows where it goes from here, but I think what you're seeing is there's a lot of things that are out of people's control. So uh, I think the next week, around the world will be fascinating if you're looking at it from forget football I, you know I, i'm i'm fascinated to see where this thing goes i mean we vaccines are available the boosters uh but you're seeing this thing uh pick up and you hope it's at the end but again i'm not a epidemiologist or biologist or a medical expert 
Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Actually, I'll, I'll, I got one more. Right. I, want to, I, I want to go back to something you said to Jeff about, you know, how some of the line play impacts play calling. How much this year do you feel like it's taken away from what you would like to be able to do? I mean, I don't know. I like, I mean, you're playing the situations and you're trying to trying to get the best matchups you can. Uh, there's challenges every week. I, 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 I'm not into you know, rationalize and make excuses. I try to deal with the reality as we try to build this. And as you build a game plan and, and where you're trying to attack, um, you know, yesterday, I mean, we know Bosa was a terrific player. And, you know, for the most part, I thought McGarry did a pretty good job. And then we got knocked off a spot. And he's a tenacious rusher and he slithers back and, and gets a sack fumble. So, you know, makes a, a game changing play. And so you're sitting there and you're trying to think, like, well, 90% of the time, we got it pretty good. And then, you know, Armstead, Played an unbelievable game, and you know that. So he's he's starting to affect it, and so you got to adapt as you go to series to series. But I, I I don't, I just deal with the reality of the current matchups and situations. I'm not sitting here saying, oh, I wish we could do this. There's a lot of things I wish we could do, uh, but that's every year. It's never going to be perfect. Appreciate it. All right, appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All.